So you're looking to pick up some new gear. Maybe you're looking to sell your old gear because it's time for an upgrade or your wife says, hey, you got too much gear laying around. I get asked the question all the time. What is the best way to buy and sell my gear? Maximize my profits and find the best selection possible for buying. Well, simply put, the answer is Sideline Swap. And I want to share with you why today. When it comes to buying any gear, you want a good selection. And I've been using Sideline Swap for over six years now. And they have the best selection because Sideline Swap is powered by sellers across North America. And I can tell you for a fact, they consistently have the most pro return options from any of your favorite pros from these awesome Bauer mocks from Andrew Hammond, more mock stuff from Jake Ottinger, Jacob Marks from 580 Gloves. I love 580s myself. That might be perfect for somebody like me to maybe some awesome college or junior sets, whatever it is, I promise you, best selection is hands down right here. Now I know what you're thinking, Trav, everything is online. I can't actually try the gear in person. This is very true. However, all listings have detailed descriptions from sizing to specs to information about potential damage or wear areas that you should be aware of. Let's say maybe you're unsure about a piece of gear in Sideline Swap. Simply just go down to your local retailer, try it on, come back and get a better deal on Sideline Swap. It's as simple as that. And the swap also offers a money back guarantee. Let's say you buy this beautiful set right here and it arrives and it looks nothing like the pictures and completely not as advertised. Well, you have 72 hours to file a dispute and the swap will always protect you. And if in fact it is not as advertised, you get all your money back, no questions asked. It doesn't get any more secure than that. There's no sending and receiving payments. The swap takes care of all of that itself. So it's secure, it's safe, and you're protected. Now, this is what I get excited about the most. What about selling? Maybe you're like me, you're trying to save up as much as you possibly can towards your new set that's coming up in a few days, which I'm very excited for, by the way. Maybe you just want a few bucks to take your wife on a nice seafood dinner. Whatever the case is, the swap is the best option, and here is why. A lot of the times you really don't know what your gear is worth. You guess the price, ask it, and hope it sells. And if you're having a problem figuring out what should I sell it for, you put in the information, keep it honest, they'll give you an honest price, what you should be selling for, what's above, what's under average. It's basically like a car trader. That's exactly what you should be getting, especially if you haven't pulled out your gear in a while, you don't know what it's worth. It's a great tool to help you find the value of your gear when you go to sell it. So you're getting maximum dollar. Maybe you're asking a little bit too much. Maybe you're asking almost a little bit too little. The swap will tell you what a good price to be asking for that piece is. Now, as far as getting your stuff on a sideline swap, it is so easy. Literally, get your stuff out of the shed, out of the garage, out of the basement, wherever it is, dust it off, start taking an inventory of what you have. Grab some awesome pictures of your gear, show it off, get some good lighting, make sure you photograph any potential wear areas or damage of the gear that the buyer should be aware of. And it's as simple as that. Whenever you're listing stuff on Sideline Swap, obviously you wanna be trying to be as accurate as possible the description, tell people about the usage. Let's say for example, my pants, what size are they? They're an XL, they have an internal belt. I put the skate lace mod on myself, doesn't affect the actual performance of the pant. Great shape, used it for two years, lots of life left. You don't wanna be the guy that's selling one of these that are lightly used, about six months of usage, lots of life to get left. This thing is 15 years old. Be honest when you make a description, it makes things a lot easier because someone's gonna buy this and say, this isn't six months old, this is from 2007. And then they're gonna want their money back. So be very accurate in your descriptions, it'll make life a lot easier. And then you can sell lots of stuff like this. Obviously the nicer your photos are, the more likely your gear is to sell. You want sexy pictures. I mean, come on. Sideline Swap is the Tinder of buying and selling new and used gear. Now you upload everything either on your laptop, desktop, or your phone. I'm gonna be honest, it's all up to you. But for me, if I'm taking pictures on my phone, the mobile app is probably gonna be the easiest for me, but it's all the same experience. I, on the other hand, also have sausage fingers, so I'd probably prefer the laptop, but for sake of ease, it's easier to do everything on my phone. Now, let's talk money for a second. And I've had this happen lots in my lifetime. You go into a retail store, you try to trade in your old gear, but because they're the only shop in town or maybe one of two, they absolutely lowball you on a trade-in and give you almost next to nothing to what you actually should be getting on your gear and what you actually deserve for it. Well, that's fine. The swap has thousands of sellers and thousands of buyers looking to pick up new gear every single day. So if somebody lowballs you, not a big deal. Decline the offer and carry on. You're gonna have another offer coming up very shortly. Another awesome trick that I have is I always ask for more than the average price when it comes to selling, somebody will lowball me and the chances are that the offer they make that is a quote unquote lowball offer, is gonna be way closer to what I actually want in the gear. You can also list the gear for one price on day one drop the price the next day and the swap will promote it as a price drop item, getting you more eyeballs in front of more people and to make that sale happen a little bit faster. Now maybe you're thinking, there's no way anybody wants my old gear and you'd probably describe it as a piece of shit. You can literally sell anything on Silent Swap. I've sold broken sticks, I've sold outdated gear, I sell hockey cards, I've even sold a used jock recently. Now I know what you're thinking and I was curious to test the theory of can you sell anything on the Silent Swap? Turns out, yes, this is the place to sell anything. Now. Maybe you're a goaltender, maybe you're new, maybe you're new into hockey and you don't know what to buy. I would say anything at the beginning is a good start. If you're just starting hockey, you're looking to get some stuff, you're looking to save a couple bucks, you don't need anything high tech, just something to get you started, worry about the other details later. And if you're ever unsure, you have questions about buying, what's a good deal, what's a bad deal, I need a little bit of help, I got a question, 
here, contact me, Instagram, TikTok, this is the place to reach me. And if you wanna try Sideline Swap, again, I've been using the swap for over six years, it's an amazing place. You can simply use the code TRAVSUCKS or click the first thing in the video description, it's gonna get you seven bucks off at sign up. Again, this is the place everybody's going to buy and sell their gear these days. I wanna say thank you so much for watching. If you want more tips, if you have something you want me to cover in an upcoming video, leave in the comment section below. I'll talk to you very soon in the next one. Thanks for watching.